touch bearing currents. Inner turn shorts and terminal short circuits. Um, as I kind of introduced in the previous slide, this is my electrical diagram of a motor. This is a three phase motor with a neutral. And we can have a variety of short circuits. So we can have coil to coil shorts where the lamination between two winding shorts together, we get a fault path. We have turn to turn shorts. Again, this is just where the fault is happening between where and the coils. We could have phase to phase shorts where phase A and phase B get shorted together. We could have um, coil to ground where maybe the copper winding shorts to the stator housing, shorts to the laminations, and then we're getting a current there. Or open circuits where, where they, uh, they're not touching at all. So what's the fault? Winding short together or to ground. We have a breakdown of the winding enamel that results in this and you have a short circuit, which creates a really large current going through a direction you don't want. So what are the causes? Well, that's mechanical stresses. We have vibrations. We have things rubbing against each other. You know, maybe we have a, a fluid drenched um, stator and we get some particulates in there that are causing wear and tear. We have electrical stresses. If we're experiencing voltage overshoots, that enamel could break down and we get, you know, a kind of a partial discharge, a corona discharge. Or probably the most likely culprit is thermal stresses. These windings get too hot, the enamel breaks down, and we create that short between those two windings. We get those large currents coming through. We have more heat, we have more enamel breakdown, we have more heat, we have more enamel breakdown. We have a catastrophic failure. And what's the effect? Well, we have inefficiency because we have power now not going where we want it. We have potentially demagnetization, which is the failure mode we'll touch on next. And uh, in a lot of cases, smoke, fire, all the, all the really nasty stuff we don't want to happen. Um, and here's just an example, and I probably should have saved this diagram for a later slide. But if we have a fault current, let's say we have two windings shorted together, we get that fault current. This is from 1% faulted to 100% faulted in a, in a given coil. We can see that the currents don't change all that much. But for a little bit of fault, we have a little bit of torque disturbance. And for a big fault, we have a lot of torque disturbance. So even a little fault can create a really big torque disturbance, can cause a really big problem. So you're now experts on inner turn shorts. Basically, in that stator, windings get shorted together. They create big currents where we don't want them. They create heat where we don't want it. Not that we ever really want heat. 